So in this video, we're going to look at the basics of sigma notation. We're going to learn what sigma notation is and how to expand with it. And so uh, the sum of the terms of sequence, so if we're adding up all the terms of a sequence, which we call a series, is written using summation notation. So this is basically a condensed way of writing. Like if I wanted to write like, you know, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8, there's a way to condense it using this sigma notation. We call it sigma notation. Um, or I wrote summation, but a sigma notation, because this is a Greek letter sigma right here, okay? And, and we're just going to, anytime we see it, we're going to add up a whole bunch of stuff. So let's talk what each of these values under, to the right of, and over it mean. So basically, I is our index of summation, Okay. And that means, uh, don't worry too much, basically we're saying there's an I here because we're putting these values into this expression right here. And this is kind of like our starting I value. I value, and it doesn't have to be an I, it could be an N, it could be a K, um, it could be anything. And then up here, this is going to be our ending, ending I value. And once again, it's I in this case, but it could be anything, ending I value, okay? And so this is kind of like our formula. And I don't um, want you to overthink it, but this is kind of like our formula. And we're, this is where we're doing the math to figure out what exact number are we adding up over and over again. So write this down, have this handy as we go. We're going to do, do a couple of short examples on the next slide to see what this looks like. But basically, let's expand this using sigma notation. So... Here, if here's our sigma notation, we're just going to expand out and say, okay, this is a condensed way of writing a whole bunch of numbers that are being added together. And so let's kind of figure out what those numbers are. Let's expand it out with a whole bunch of plus signs. So what we do is I'm starting with i equals 1. So that means I'm going to put a 1 in for x, and my first number is going to be x sub 1. And then we're going to add it, and we're just going to go up 1. We're going to keep increasing until we get to this number. So then x sub 2 x sub 3, and we go up, you can see we're going up by 1 every time, and x sub 4, so on and so forth, and you're asking, where do we stop? We stop at n, but since n isn't defined, we would just say dot, 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 until we get to n, whatever that is, okay? Let's look at a second example. So on this one, we have the same expression, kind of the same formula right here, but we're starting at 3, and we're stopping at 7. So that means I'm starting with x sub 3, and then I'm going to add x sub 4, x sub 5, x sub 6, and lastly, x sub 7, because that's where I stop at. There's no dot, dot, dot. This does not keep going, okay? And so these are, these are pretty general forms. Let's look at like a more practical problem that you might see. So if it gave you this, what we would do is I would substitute in, now, and now we're using k. Note that we're using k because this k right here should match whatever um, variables in your expression. But we are going to have 2 times 3 plus 2 times 4, because note, this isn't a subscript right here. It's not a subscript like that i. We're actually multiplying 2 times whatever this value is. So 2 times 3 plus 2 times 4 plus 2 times 5 plus 2 times 6 plus 2 times 7, and plus 2 times 8, because it says we're going to stop at 8. Now, this just says expand, um, so, I mean, you can stop here, but in reality, since there's no variables, we could actually figure out what this sum is, and I'll just do that real quick to not waste your time. And so once I actually, you know, figured out, evaluated this expression right here, I get these numbers, and then if you add them, you get 66. So um, that's how you use sigma notation. You can use it to rewrite a pattern of numbers, in a more condensed form that's easy to write.